has God cast away his people? Psalm 94 says, For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. And Romans 11 says, I say then, as God cast away his people, certainly not, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people whom he foreknew. And the way God is dealing with Israel is definitely a mystery. That's why in the same chapter he says, I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion. That blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And then so all Israel will be saved. Yes, this blindness in part has happened to Israel, but it's temporary. They will acknowledge him. Hosea says, I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their offense. That means it will happen. I'm going back and I'll wait for them. Jesus said, I'm not coming back to Jerusalem until you say, Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. Israel must come back to him for him to return to Jerusalem. Do you understand that? If you are saying that God is done with Israel, Jesus can never come back. Literally. He's a liar because he said, I won't come back until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their offense. Then they will seek my face. And in their affliction, they will earnestly seek me. See what the tribulation is going to do to Israel? The tribulation will lead to Israel's salvation. Matthew 23, see. Your house is left to you desolate, for I say to you, you shall see me no more until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Israel is your insurance policy for God's faithfulness, for God's love, and God's covenant keeping nature. Malachi, or you call him Malachi? <laughs> he said in 3 6, For I am the Lord. I do not change, therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. God is not changing. He's the same. And so Israel cannot be consumed. 